Our top focus is West Bengal facing a barrage of allegations in the Sarda scam. Bengal Chief Minister has finally hit back at her detractors, breaking her silence for the first time after the CBI tightened the noose around Trinamool leaders. Mamta Banerjee claimed that a party has not taken a penny from Sarda. The comments are her first since revelations of a railway deal with the Sarda link when she was Union Minister and the direct charges levelled against her by Trinamool rebel Kunal Ghosh. The fight back also has been timed with the day of crucial bipoles in Bengal. Our correspondent Indrajit Kundu now joins me live from Kolkata. Indrajit, Manta Banji finally breaking her silence. Just take us through what her claims now are. Well, that's right. Uh, Mamata Banerjee has finally broken our silence as far as the Sarda scam is concerned. Remember, uh, it seemed like that the Sarda probe had almost reached her doorstep with allegations that uh, there was a contract between IRCTC and Sarda Tours and Travels when Mamata Banerjee was a rail minister in 2010. So the opposition was going gung-ho about all these allegations, not only against uh, various Trinamool leadership, but also against Mamata herself. So Mamata Banerjee deciding to, uh, you know, retort back directly against BJP President Amit Shah uh, saying that uh, people who are uh, uh, saying that they are going to put uh, the Trinamool leadership behind the bars, they themselves were behind the bars uh, a few days back, also hitting back saying that uh, Trinamool does not leak the money of a chit fund company to survive, uh, claiming that uh, Tr uh, Trinamool Congress has never taken a single penny from Sharda. So a direct attack coming in yes. from the Chief Minister herself, uh, uh, trying to, uh, you know, fend all the uh, all the criticism that has come her way, all the allegations that has come the, the Trinamool Congress's way, and also hitting out at BJP President Amit Shah, because last week when he was in Calcutta to campaign for the by-elections, mm -hmm. he did say that nobody would be spared. All those culprits who are involved in all these camps will definitely be put behind bars. So Mamata Banerjee replying back to Amit Shah directly now. Also, Indro, this is one of the key issues that the BJP has taken up, especially when Amit Shah was in Bengal. Absolutely. The BJP has, uh, you know, uh, picked up the Sharda issue, uh, uh, focusing on it uh, in the entire campaign leading up to today's by polls. They know that this is going to be a crucial issue for the party in order to sustain its campaign against the Trinamool Congress. The BJP is trying to seize the space for the principal opposition in Bengal. We haven't seen much of activity as far as the left is concerned uh, on this issue. So the BJP wants, uh, wants to continue the momentum and hit the streets. They have already said that they are going to hit the streets as soon as the bipoles are over on the Sharda issue. Yesterday, the BJP got out police stations across the state uh, mm -hmm. demanding Mamta Banerjee's resignation and they are only going to increase the rhetoric and, uh, uh, you know, hit the streets uh, with the Sarda issue once the bipoles are over. Indra, the irony also lies in the fact that Mamta Banerjee has come out with this statement on the eve of the bipoles. She made this statement yesterday, I believe, but there are enough and more links really that are being drawn between the TMC and Sarda at this point. Well, look, Mamata Banerjee, uh, you know, speaking out obviously on the eve of uh, these bipoles uh, does uh, suggest to the fact that the Trinamool Congress at this point in time does feel jittery uh, because it's a combined opposition attack. Also, the fact that the CBI is pushing ahead with its probe. It is supposed to uh, file a charge sheet within 90 days and that's the reason why there is a lot of urgent sense of urgency within the CBI as well. So, uh, Mamata Banerjee trying to fend off all these bouncers that have been lodged uh, uh, towards her by the opposition. Yes. So there's no doubt that she's trying to do the firefighting after pushing forward her own nephew to do the firefighting just a few days back because a lot of senior leadership within the Trinamool Congress is facing questions of credibility as far as the Sarda scam goes.